Hi folks, Matt Edwards here from Vought RV, and I'm excited because today I get to do the very first 2022 Jayco JFlight 264BAs we got in inventory. She's three days old, and ain't she a beauty? Jayco did the different color design this year for the 22s with the white, the gray, and the beautiful graphics down the middle of it. Looks very nice and clean, doesn't it? With the tinted windows. So let's start off. Now, some of the things are new, some of them are still the same features that they used to have. The 264 is still Jayco's number one selling trailer, okay? Magnet holders up here. Great deal, that saves a lot of head damage, especially for me, okay? You've got your pass-through storage over here, and you'll notice what they've done now, they used to have it where it was open underneath the bed. Underneath the bed now, I'll show you, is totally by itself now, but this is cool. This is nice and clean. You can put four or five totes in here. You can put your long chairs, your grill, uh, your noodles, plenty of room, okay? Lock down, they lock up. You still have the option to put side cameras on here if you want to, okay? Diamond plated front, rock chips. We put a brand new RV battery up here, plus we fill up both your bottles. Now these bottles here are the same ones you've got in the backyard for the grass, gas grill. So, you know, you can change these out at 7-Elevens, you can change them out at the parks, on the road, wherever you need to. Super convenient. Power lift up here makes it easy, take it on and off, one-handed, okay? Here's your other side of your storage, right there. This trailer weighs 4,700 pounds, so this is very half-ton towable, uh, suburban. Some of the SUVs will pull these really, really easy. Nice, clean lines. Right here is for your, your fill tank for your portable water. So if you guys are going boondocking or going to go to a place that doesn't have water hookups, you're able to put probably 50, 60 gallons in here of water and take it up there with you. Now, of course, you never want to pull the water with you while you're driving down the road because it's just extra weight and it's going to suck on the gas mileage, okay? The Goodyear tires, six-year factory warranty from Goodyear, as well as, knock up here, stainless steel, okay? If a tire does come untreaded, it's not going to beat the tar out of your trailer. If you do this around other trailers, you're either going to find nothing or you're going to hit the trailer, okay? Jayco takes a little bit more time by putting that stainless steel up there. One thing new for 22 is the 30 amp cord now. Instead of pulling it out and having to stuff it back in there, it's loose, okay? You can actually plug it up, roll it up, and put it in your storage compartment. Outside shower, okay? Hot and cold water. And you've got your, Santa, your, uh, your black tank flush, okay? That's for those unruly pieces of toilet paper that get stuck on sensors that drive you freaking nuts because it shows you're half full when you're actually empty. So hook that up, that'll flush that out. A trick, if that doesn't work, get a bag of crushed ice when you leave the park, dump it straight into your commode and drive down the road. It acts like gravel and clean it out for you too. Okay? Down here is your black and gray holding tanks and your low and drain point. So you're, this is how you dump at the station. You drop your black tank, your black tank first, then wash it out with your gray tank. Then if you're going to store your trailer for a while or not use it, of course you want to drain all the water out of the tanks and you can do that right there. Okay? Back here is for your cable hookup. So if you're at a water park, if you're at a water park, if you're at a park and you've got cable hookups or satellite, you can tie into it so that way your trailer has that too. Okay? Your four stabilizers, okay? Now people get confused. These aren't levelers, these are just stabilizers. This takes the wobble wobble out of your trailer. Super easy to put down. Get a three quarter inch bit on a cordless drill, pop those down, again one handed, okay? And you'll notice, even though it's a small trailer, you've still got your rain gutters up there, which is dropping off the condensation, which feels pretty good right now from your air conditioner, okay? Spare tire, Jayco lighting system, beautiful awning. More storage underneath here. That's quite a bit of storage. And new for 22 is they're putting the speakers on the outside instead of inside on the awnings. That way you get a little bit better speaker quality. Okay? You've got your hookup too for your TV and a power out here. 
So say you guys are at the park or at a NASCAR race and you want to watch it on TV, you can set your TV out here and hook everything up and watch it. Okay? There's your mount for your TV right there. The Moride step system that just folds in and out. Best thing to happen to trailers since sliced bread. Uh, let's see. Oh, and your lighting and your awning, if I didn't show you that already. Well, let's go inside out of the heat. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. Hey guys, and welcome inside. So I was looking at the temperature outside since we just came in and it is 93 degrees out there right now. We're inside, I don't know about you, Brian, but this feels pretty good. You know, I think we could spend the day out here you know, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't be sweating as bad as we would be outside, okay? Well, welcome inside. One of the biggest new changes on the 264 is the beautiful modern farmhouse, okay? This was normally available on the Eagles, the Pinnacles, the North Points, the big boys, okay? But Jayco's now put them into the SL Lexus. This is solid wood cabinet, okay? With a distressed look. This is paper mache, real wood. Jayco has a three-year structural warranty on this puppy. These cabinets are screwed and glued in, no staples. Now, the big room up here, what Don and I do is we get a divider that we can get over at Home Depot, plastic, and I put that in here, so that way she can keep her, her, her toastums, her macaroni and cheese, her canned goods, all that stays right up here. And then when we're on the road, she'll take the bath towels or the beach towels that we've got underneath the bed, and she'll put those in there and shut the doors. That keeps things from moving around, okay? The countertop, look how much beautiful they've got it now. Almost looks like it's a uh, marble or granite, okay? Big double sink that drops down so you could get you a cover over here if you needed more prep room for food, okay? New black, shiny, new black faucets, okay? They look really sharp back here, okay? The only reason these metal, these blinds right over here are metal just for a little news, just because you're close to fire, okay? You've got your uh, vented hood up here with fan over a high output three burner stove, okay? This is pretty neat. Now, one lady was telling me that she'd put a skillet up here and cook bacon up here and, well, she'd do bacon, she'd do pancakes up here. But she said it was really nice because it sat right over there with the three heat. It was evenly distributed, so she was able to cook there. Now, if you do need more room, again, you can pull this down and prep up here, okay? Here's your oven with all the cool little lights. It even has a light on the inside in here. Now, the ovens in these are really, really small, and they're hard to get the right heat in there, and they're hard to cook in there. We use ours. We, we warm up like pizza slices. Uh, we put together baked potatoes. But anything small that needs to cook around 200 degrees is usually 250 is usually what my wife will cook in there. Again, like during days like this, when you use the oven, you're gonna sweat. It's gonna make this thing really, really hot. So in that case, you move up top to your trusty microwave, okay? Popcorn, pizza, whatever, you, just like what you do in a normal microwave, okay? All right there with a the clock. You've got storage underneath the sink for the trash can. You've got real wooden cabinet drawers, just like you do in your house, on metal sliders. Okay. Bigger, bigger spot down there. Okay. Then over the dinette, you've got some more cabinets over here. And you'll notice these are brown, so that way it gives it a little bit of uh, two-tone colors in here. And again, you can run those dividers in here, so that way you can put games, movies, uh, hot mats, paper plates, whatever you need to put up in here. Okay. Now over here is your IRV Technologies radio. Okay. AM FM radio. It does have an HTMT cable on that so you can run your your VCR through the system. If you want to run speakers outside, you can Bluetooth in here too. It's got a USB port and an HTM plug right there also. Up here is your 12 volt battery in case you have a 12 volt TV and your TV antenna. Now, you see that button I just pushed in the green light? A lot of folks don't realize that, but if you hook your TV up to the antenna that's up there, if you don't push the booster on, you're not gonna get any signal. So, 
I get a lot of phone calls from folks at the park saying, hey, I can't get any TV signal. Did you push your button? Oh, then they get TV signal, okay? And of course, your, your plug right there. Now you can mount a nice 32 inch TV up here. You put on the swivel, so that way you can see it over here. Uh, I don't know if they make it big enough to go this way, but you can put one up there, okay? Now this particular model has a 12 volt refrigerator, but look at the volume in there in the room. Ooh, look. We could have stuck your camera in there and, chilled, yeah, and, and it cooled right. it down, yeah. But you can fit a lot of groceries in there. A family of four, this is a great size trailer, okay? Now the bunks back here, just like all Jayco's, have got the thicker cushion, teddy bear cushion back here. We've got the vents, windows that crack open, and there are plugs down in here, okay? Now these are double bunks. So these double bunks will hold three, 600 pounds, 600 pounds, that's a lot. And again, you don't see any pressed wood. This is what everything's costing so much. You know, this could be your, your child's uh, college fund right here nowadays, you know, selling the wood out of here. Okay, you've got storage you can access up here. Okay. All right, then we got the master bath, okay? So I'll just hop in here. Now, Jayco has two by fours and, and plywood underneath here. This sucker does not sink when I step into it. I'm probably 5'8", so I've got plenty of room up this ways. I can pull the curtain, I can move around. Look at this, again, the black finish. I think that looks so much nicer and cleaner, okay? I can shower, do everything I need to do in here. There's plenty of squat room in here, okay? I know that's important. Boom, you can room, you can shut the door, you got your toilet paper, you got your magazine, you're all set up to go, okay? Outside sink. Now then, by Jacob putting in this new farmhouse in these, it makes it so much brighter, so much bigger, you know? Up here, you've got a mirror, okay? But you can also put a small cabinet up there because you've got two by, you got uh, braces behind there you can get into. Got your plug, storage down here. You can do baskets in here too, you know what? Let's see. Let's go up to the master suite. Okay, walk our way around. This has got the short queen, okay? Again, I'm 5'8", so, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I can make it work. I can do this. And I can put my pillows up here, still sit up in bed. I can watch TV. I've got a TV mount right there. And Jayco gives you the mount that you mount on the back of your TV for that. That way you can take the TV in or out, okay? Now this is what I'm kind of excited about. This one already has the Go Power solar system, okay? There's a 190 watt panel on the roof, and this is your 30 amp controller right here. What this does is this keeps your batteries hot, okay? Now Vought will give you one battery, like we do on all of our trailers up there but I would get a second battery to have two batteries up there. That way, if you wanna go boondock and stay up in New Mexico where there's no power up in the mountains, where it's nice and cool, pretty, bears, you could actually stay up there and probably stay four or five days, pretty simple, pretty easy. Two batteries, because this will keep your refrigerator cold. The only thing you won't be able to run is your microwave and your AC. But again, if you go up someplace cool, you know, and just wanna get away from everybody, that's, that's a great feature to have on here. We got closets on both sides, hang-ups. And again, you can modify these. I mean, it's just wood, you know. You've got the open beside the bed, plugs on both sides, night light. I think blue light's pretty cool. You've got two windows on each side over here. That way you create a breeze through there. You know what? If you're in a trailer, put your hand right there when it's cold, when it's hot and then put it on with these, you'll see such a huge difference. So by us keeping this closed, keeping that vent blowing down, again, that does pretty good for us. Okay, that's all new for 22. Uh, the jackknife, let's show you how that works, okay? 
boom. You can put an air mattress on here or put a small mattress. You can put two kids on here. So if you're crazy enough, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you could easily sleep nine, 10 people in here. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I think I've got everything. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Or Brian's put my, again, my email address, my phone number up there. Give me a call. I can answer all your questions. Uh, I am an RVer, just like Mike. We've had uh, many trailers throughout the years. Uh, I really enjoy what I do. It's fun. I get to help people make memories, and that's what we're all here to do. You know, we've got a crazy enough world as it is. Camping burns off the crazy, by the way. I got a new sign for that. But you guys have a blessed day. Stay cool. Bye bye. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.